What's up guys, it's Courtney, and today's video I'm going to show you how to use guitar pedals in Logic Pro. I'll show you how to hook them up, and then I'll show you how you can actually use them on pre-recorded melodies or samples. Sweetwater actually sent over the Walrus ARP 87. It's a multifunctional delay pedal, and it's got some really nice textures in it, so I want to use it on some melodies. But first, let's hook it up to the audio interface so we can use it in Logic. Step number one, we need to plug the input of the ARP 87 into the output of the audio audio interface. My studio monitors are on output 1 and 2, so we'll be using outputs 3 and 4 on this. So we'll just take this and plug it into the input, these cables, and plug them into the output of the audio interface. Step number two, we need to take the output of the ARP 87 and plug it into the input of the audio interface. Plug that in right there. And then I'm just gonna use input one on the audio interface. Step number three, we need to give the pedal some power. So we're just gonna use a nine volt adapter to plug into the pedal. You can see now that it has power, it's in bypass mode. So to turn the pedal on, we just hit the bypass button. Now let's dive into Logic so we can get this set up. Step number four, open Logic and create a new audio track but change the output to outputs three and four because that is what we used for the pedal to the back of the audio interface. Hit create and let's go ahead and name this track sample. Step number five, create another audio track, but keep the audio output on outputs one and two. Make sure that your audio input is on input one since that is where we have the guitar pedal running into. Let's go ahead and name this audio track pedal. Go ahead and drag a sample into the audio track named sample. Before we get into the pedal, I'm gonna show you what it sounds like without any processing, and then I'll explain exactly how we're gonna use this pedal and what it does. The Walrus ARP 87 is a delay pedal. It has some really rich and warm tones, which is why I want to use it on this sample. So to begin, we're just going to take it out of bypass mode and turn the pedal on. And we're going to first start by adjusting this level knob, which the level knob adjusts the volume of the repeats. So I'm going to go ahead and play this so you can hear what's going on as I move this knob. Next we have the dampen knob. It controls the overall tone of the repeats. It basically acts like a low pass filter. So if we turn it clockwise, it brightens up the echoes. And if we turn it down, it makes those echoes darker. Next to the dampen knob, we have the repeats knob and it basically does what its name is. It adjusts the number of repeats. So if you open this knob all the way up, it will go for an infinite number of repeats. The ratio knob sets the tempo multiplier, so basically how fast or how slow the repeats happen. You can use the tap button to match the tempo of the original recording just by tapping out the BPM. For this example, we're gonna leave it as is, but let's go ahead and adjust the ratio. X knob changes the modulation depth when using programs D, A, and S, and it changes the filter width when you're using program L. 
So if you're asking yourself what are programs, that's where the program knob comes into play. The D stands for digital delay, which is the cleanest out of all four of them. The A is for analog delay, that gives the repeats a bit of a warmer sound. The L is for lo-fi, that's just a bit more dirty and degraded. And the S is for slap, and it's more of a staccato type of delay. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust these two knobs so you can hear what exactly the pedal is doing when they are in each mode. The tap button, like I said, works by tapping out the BPM, or you can hold it down temporarily to max out the repeats. So let me show you what I mean. If you've found the sound that you like, you can go ahead and hit record to record the effect onto the loop. Or if you want to mess around with the pedal while it's recording, you can do that to come up with some cool effects as well. We're going to go ahead and hit record. For some extra ambience, I'm gonna go ahead and use the Walrus Slow to add on some extra reverb to this sample. So I'm gonna unhook this and plug this one in. That is how you hook up and record external effects using a guitar pedal in Logic Pro. I'd like to thank Sweetwater and Walrus Audio for letting me test out these pedals. If you want to check out more of Walrus's pedals, you can go to Sweetwater.com to check out the rest of their collection. I hope you found the video helpful. If you did, be sure to hit the like button. It does help the channel grow. And if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button as well as that little bell so you get a notification every single time I post. And I am doing some giveaways this month and the first giveaway starts next week. So make sure you are subscribed to the channel and make sure that you follow me over on Instagram at prod by Courtney. That's all I have for you guys today. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.